Dar and Bilal and conf confused. I was like, why are people using this language, this racist language? To say, no, no, but I didn't mean it that way. I didn't mean it that way. I mean, Abu Dhar technically, what he said, Bilal was the son of a black woman, so was Abu Dhar. So he could have said, what I said was true. I didn't say anything wrong. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi could have told Abu Dhar, I know it's true, but why did you say that in front of him? You hurt his feelings. But he wouldn't have corrected the, the poison. Instead, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi spoke to an internal condition of Abu Dhar that had to get rectified. Racism is a disease of the heart. It's a form of kibir, pride. You think Allah created someone better than someone else because of the color of their skin? That sounds very familiar. That's kibir, that's pride. How dare you think that Allah created you more civilized, with more potential, with more value because of the color of your skin? There is nothing more satanic than that. What that plays out in is that we have to reassess our language, reassess our community on the inside, reassess our uh, work with the entirety of the community on the outside. And there's one more thing, inshallah ta'ala, I think I'm, you gave me the signal, so I guess I'm done, then we gotta go to our panel. Um, and I think this is a very important point. I was at the Majlis al-Shura banquet in New York last week, and Imam Talib Abdul Rashid. Imam Talib Abdul Rashid is the student of Allama Tawfiq, who was sent to Al-Azhar, but he was a student of Malcolm X, Al-Hajj Malik al-Shabazz. Malcolm received scholarships to Al-Azhar University. He sent Allama Tawfiq, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, to Al-Azhar. Allama Tawfiq translated many books from Arabic to English, by the way. He came back to New York, the Mosque of Islamic Brotherhood. Imam Talib is now the Imam of that masjid. He was a student of Alama Tawfiq. And Imam Talib said something beautiful, powerful. He said, connecting with black leaders is not the same as connecting with black communities. Just because you bring Imam Siraj to your event <laughs> doesn't suddenly make you as a community anti-racist. When Imam Siraj is brought to your event and he raises millions of dollars for your organization, when the inner city masjid in your community can't pay the electricity bill and you're not doing anything in the inner city of your community, you're not building relationships with the community, you're building relationships with faces and leaders. And we have to go beyond that. And so when we talk about the historic black American community and fetishize Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali, what about the current community that exists today? And what are we doing to build relationships with the community not just of African-American Muslims, wherever they may be, but with the black community uh, as a whole. So we have to move beyond just building relationships with leaders and symbolic gestures. We've got to move beyond that, inshallah ta'ala. And we have to really be willing to take ourselves to task. And that's going to require all of us. I love our diversity. I think our diversity is our strength, by the way. As an American Muslim community, mashallah, there is no faith community like ours. We're confused with our food. We're confused with our dress. You get people, I mean, around the shoe racks. It's just a thing to, uh, to be amazed at. It, 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 really, it truly is beautiful. SubhanAllah. We're the most diverse faith community in the country. It's, it's a source of pride. وَاعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا وَاذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ إِذْ كُنْتُمْ أَعْدَاءً فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانًا the, what brought us all together is the rope of Allah, that we care about this deen. What keeps us coming to the masjid and getting uncomfortable sometimes and negotiating our own identities, our own cultures, and trying to figure it out and come together is that we, we have a common cause and a common purpose. And subhanAllah, you know, I think back to the Meccan days, and I'm like, what would have got Umar radiallahu anhu to hang out with Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu? Or Abdurrahman bin Auf to hang out with... Bilal ibn Rabah, like that stuff is amazing, but it was this common purpose. So let's also take a moment to celebrate how amazing it is when you look around the room at any message, and sometimes we don't get it until someone visits our community, like, wow, the diversity was crazy.